What is up people? It is your beer girl, Melissa, and I am here with a really exciting tasting. I've been waiting to do this one for a couple of weeks since we got this in the store. Um, this is another one of those beers that have been really hyped up and I have been waiting to do this. So we got our hands on Artisanal Brew Works Warhead Extreme Sours, like so. Um, they are the officially licensed partner with the Warhead Candy Company. So I thought it would be fun to do like a little taste test where we try the beer versus the candy or the candy versus the beer. So I went ahead and I picked up Warheads. P.S. You can get these right by the big leak chew in the store. Talk about nostalgia candy. Um, so these are all sour ales. They're 5% ABV, um, naturally flavored. They are not brewed with candy. There's no fruit in the beer. They are literally liquid Warheads in a glass. So you guys all know how I do with sour. So this is gonna be fun. Um, don't judge me because I don't think I can like eat each full warhead. So I'm just gonna do a little taste, a little rinse of water, and then I'm gonna go for the beer. And I'll, I'll pick it up and I'll show you each one as we go along. Shall we do it? You can do it. All right, we're gonna start off with the Black Cherry Extreme Sour. This one, I was kind of annoyed because they didn't have the hard candy, but luckily, I also saw the soft chews, so here we go. We're at number one, my mouth is already watering. Okay. That's not that bad. That's not that sour. I can handle that. All right, that one, cause it was chewy. The other ones I'm gonna get real savage with, I'm just gonna spin them out into the glass. All right, Warheads Extreme Sour number one, Black Cherry. Now, this is probably gonna be a little bit off because that wasn't very sour. And look, each one is the color of the candy. I do like that, that's kind of cool. Here we go. It smells like cherry right away. Sour, but I'm not puckering. Really spot on. It really tastes like the candy. All right, I'm gonna drink some more of this. That was good. So this one is, again, slightly more sour than that first one because it was a gummy and that was kind of actually sweet. Mm. Great, great, great black cherry flavor. We got a Beer World official glass here too for once. I'm at my kitchen table. I just kicked the kids upstairs and told them to be quiet while I do this. All right. Now I'm getting worried. Number two, we're going for the green apple. So this is the hard. I'm having like flashbacks of my childhood. <laughs> Joey Harrison, you know what I'm talking about. Well. Oh my gosh. Uh, now we're getting the sweetness. <laughs> Who doesn't want to watch five minutes of me just puckering with sour stuff in my mouth? Mm. All right. Sweetness coming at you. I'm glad that doesn't last as long. Sorry, guys. Like I said, there's no delicate way to spit out anything. Just, just go for it, right? I'm getting the flavor of the green apple in my mouth. I'm trying to remember it besides that sour. And again, you've got that green color with the green can. This is green apple. They're all 5%. They're all sour ales. Smells exactly like the candy. Artisanal Brew Works. That one is more sour than the black cherry is. <clears throat> Green apples there. Second sip is nicer. I definitely get more of the green apple flavor um, as opposed to the first one. But again, I don't know if that's because like the candy residue was still kind of hanging out. All right, I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna move along, move along. Next one. 
yellow can lemon. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh my gosh. Every time. Oh wow. Um, lemon flavored candies coming through. I can't keep my eyes open. Why would I make the decision to do this? I'm the one that decided to do this. Why would I do this to myself? Because it's fun. That's why. Lemon, yellow. I'm remembering the flavor. I'm scared. Okay. I gotta take a second sip. I gotta see if I can like really like get that, that lemon. Honestly, these are really like, I feel like nice sours for people that like are mid-range sour likers. Like there's some that I've tasted that were like really hard to palate, but these are really exceptionally nice. Like I could get down with these definitely. And I will continue to do so. Slight difference on the taste in that one, but definitely that lemon is there in both of them. Okay, last but not least, we have blue raspberry down the hatch. Mmm. Mmm. All right. Nope, it's back. <laughs> no, it's definitely back. Mmm. I'm gonna spit it, guys. Mmm. Remember when blue raspberry was all the rage in the 90s and like everything was blue raspberry and then they were also telling people that it gave them cancer, but kids didn't care. Uh, and your tongue would be blue. That just happened right now. Also fun fact, did you know that certain areas of your tongue are more receptive to sense different flavors? Fact check it, it's real. All right, last one. Here we go. Blue down the hatch. Give me that blue raspberry that I miss. One more. Yeah. That is 90s nostalgia in a glass. Whew, okay. Overall thoughts, I would say and I don't know, maybe it's because I'm down the line and I can only see my blue tongue now, so I'm just going to laugh at myself. But I think for me, the black cherry was probably my favorite. I think the green apple was probably the most spot on with the flavor. Um, if you like Warheads, if you miss the 90s, if you like sours and you like fun colored sour beers, I would say absolutely give them a try. They're 5%, so they're not high test. You can definitely have a few of these. You can do your own taste testing if you want to. That'd be fun. Artisanal Brew Works, thank you so much. I've been looking forward to doing this one. I've thought about it as soon as I saw them. I'm like, oh, we need to do like a little comparison here. And I'm glad that I finally was able to nail that. Um, let me know, guys. What do you want to see next? What's exciting? Pumpkin season is upon us, so you know that's going to happen. Um, let me know. Don't forget to follow, like, subscribe at beerworld underscore beer girl and YouTube also. YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. Follow your local Beer World store on Facebook. Let us know what you want to see. And as always, drink responsibly. And on that note, beer girl out. <laughs>